what's up guys it's me once again and i'm here online from gta 5 the new dlc the illegal games part 2 just released and yeah here is i'm gonna show you all the cards i'm playing story doing live commentary right now here's all the cards we're starting off with the with our progen t20 this is a fucking fast car i already customized it all i was doing a video before and but somehow like i deleted it i kind of it was my own fault but since i've already customized it it really goes fucking fast as hell like it start and as you can see in the back you see hold on it you see a little spoiler in the back it start rising if you go really fast at like 60 miles per hour i heard and yeah so here's the interior it got the pro gen and the wheel and t20 in the back looking at the logo so the top speed of this car is 220 220 miles per hour um, i'm not really gonna get too much into that i'm not gonna test i'm not really gonna test if the t20 is faster than osiris i'm sure this is much faster because it costs about 2.2 million dollars if you don't believe me well yeah it really fucking costs so much it costs like more than osiris you have to osiris it costs like 1.9 million dollars this costs 2.2 million dollars so you have to have 300 well 250 thousand more dollars to buy this card so yeah this is this was the first card and it got many customizations well not many it got like not too much but it got like average um see so you can uh, change your hood option um i put it changed the fenders the the back of it and yeah the roof you can add a little scoop to it so yeah and that's pretty much all it ha has to offer nothing really special is customization i not really worse than when it comes to customization like you have regular like the bumpers the hood you got three like double scoops on or double that ah, shit why you call those things but, but yeah you can customize the hood and all that so yeah let's get to the next car the next car we have here is the Koya brawler this is an off-roading vehicle it looks so beast you see all of the screenshots and yeah it's gonna cost you around let me check seven hundred thousand dollars not exact estimate this thing is gonna cost you around seven hundred and fifteen thousand dollars it has you can see you have the top speed of 135 miles per hour and engine of 51 vh a v8 what is that h for some reason so yeah here's what looks like an interior i didn't customize this yet but I can see I have so many customization options. This thing costs around right. I can afford this. Since I'm playing this in um, story mode, I'm not gonna buy all the vehicles in online because I made a huge mistake doing that. As you saw in my latest last video, I did this. I did the um, um Elgali Games DLC Part One. I spent five million dollars, and the cards weren't even that expensive. So yeah, I'm gonna think about touch? buying the. I'm definitely gonna buy the Koyo. This thing looks so beast. So yeah, I'm gonna run down to quick armor. I'm not gonna customize it too much. Bumpers. Okay, here's what we got offer. We got a bull bar with lights, with four lights, and one with a wrench. Whatever we call those. So I think I. Yeah, I got two lights, and it's got four right here more to offer so yeah i like this much better it got oh it got the bumper and yeah i got a spare tire in the back which suits more off-roading you can add in a road cage which more suitable um upgrade the engine definitely and yeah let's see if you can actually customize these lights Okay, no, I'm not gonna get too much in the roof. Okay, here's the roof. You can add spotlights and action, another extra tire. 
I'm not really sure if I want an extra tire since I got one already in the back. It's more suitable in the back. So yeah, I'm gonna just add this thing. I already got one tire and that's enough. Suspension, I'm not wanna make that low. So, bro. so yeah, that's all I got offer. Hold on, let me customize the, the paint real quick. And yeah. So yeah, let's take it out of the Los Santos Custom. I did a nice paint job that suits best for this off-roading vehicle. It's uh, black with a red on it. Don't mind this. This goes pretty fast. I didn't test it yet in dirt. But with the engine upgrade, you can hear the real the sound of this. This is not the best turning, you can tell, but... Oh, fucking... Okay, yeah, this is what I get when I do live commentary. Like a file windows. Anyway, um, so yeah, this is fucking like beast looking car. It runs really fast, and yeah, it suits best. Uh, it suits really best if you're an off roading kind of person who goes off roading all the time. So yeah, this is a Koyo brawler, and yeah, it's pretty tall. And yeah, I can see you next. I'm gonna see you with the other vehicle. All right. Next up, we got in the list is the Dinka Vindicator. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm saying that right. So yeah, this is a motorcycle. It looks pretty small if you see, like, you know, right now. It looks really big whenever it was in the screenshots. But yeah, this gonna run. Uh, let me check the price because I'm sure I've been prepared whenever I saw the vehicle. All right. This motorcycle costs you around uh, six hundred thousand dollars, or well, six hundred thirty thousand dollars. It got top speed of one hundred and ten miles per hour, and yeah, and it got and let's compare it to the regular motorcycles that you usually drive. And let's take a quick down. Um, where is it? Oh yeah, the battery goes around 150, and this goes. Oh shit, I forgot. Shit. This goes around. Let's see. 110. So yeah, um, if you compare top speed, I'm not really too much into this too much, but like you know, battery kick up pretty goes much faster, but this. Uh, this is pretty long, pretty big in the front, and hold on, let's see how it is in customization. What's wrong with her now? All right. All right, I'm not gonna upgrade too much stuff. Engine, yep. Exhaust. You can add a double exhaust. And yeah, you can have different exhausts and you can have doubles also. I like this it's one. Like the finger to mother nature. Awesome. Carbon, you can add this carbon, put a carbon. Um, kind towards it. So yeah, I like it. I kind of like it whenever. You got different. You, got, you can also put a carbon in the little, um, we call it mud guard. Horn lights. Uh, let's see, wrist bay, saddlebags, you can, oh, you can add these saddlebags, I don't know, I'm gonna try and make it, it looks too skinny from here, so yeah, I'm gonna try and make it a little fatter, and yeah, that's all I got to offer when it comes to customization, um, so, yeah, I'm not, oh, okay, let me just, you know, I'm not gonna really change color too much, let you see, it. because I'm not really gonna go in too much into this bike, I don't know, it got, I don't really see nothing really um secret features. Oh you can but as you can see here if on first person it got the uh, speed speed monitor speedometer or you call it and it it, it, has, it looks pretty good like you see those in trucks and big cars if you notice it and yeah they got that's a little good feature they have in this bike so it'll be much easier to measure speed if you're really into that but otherwise um and not really the best turning 
but the max is not really too bad. Don't really see nothing good. And fuck. All right, so yeah, that bike I really don't. I'm uh, not gonna really get online since it costs so much money. I don't know what's really too special about this bike. So yeah, I'm gonna see you with the next car. All right, next up we got the we we, we got the Inverto Corvette Blackfin. I'm not really. I'm just it's another classic Corvette or Corvette. What you call it in real life? So yeah, this is uh, gonna run you. I am bad with remembering prices, but you know, let me check again. I crashed into something. Oh shit! Wrong website. Oh, shit, that's embarrassing. Okay, this is gonna run you across six hundred and ninety-five thousand dollars, close to seven hundred thousand dollars. And yeah, this is from. This is very big. This is like uh, right now looking at it, I'd rather get the Corvette Classic. Because I saw that vehicle online, I might want to get it back. That shit, and I can't drive in the rain. Rain is the best. Well, no one likes rain. Anyway, yeah, it does sound, the engine does sound pretty good. I don't really know the top speed. I gotta look into that later. So, yeah, let's see what, what I got to customization. Okay, so Inverter Gore, Web, Blackfin. Alright. So, bump engine, okay, brakes. Bumpers, okay, here we got, and yeah, we can put a little spoiler. Oh, yeah, you can put a little spoiler, or it's a spoiler. No, oh, it's custom chain spoiler. So, That's yeah, put that, right there. um, put a road cage, not really showing too much, but yeah, um, you can make it in the side. Um, what, what, what like? What do I like? I like this one. Hood. Oh, you got a lot of customizations to the hood. You got, oh, a air hood. You got a ram air hood. Looks really good. You see a little hole in the here. I don't know. I don't know what you think too much about it. Um, a carbon. Oh, okay. So the rear is such a carbon, and this is a vented hood. I'm not really. I don't know what to think about the vented, but. Add the little thing. Add light. And yeah, um, roof. You got no. Oh, you can see if you if you don't like the roof, you can remove the roof. So that's a pretty good feature. And it can stick with the um fucking windshield and the roll cage in the back. So yeah, just like the Corvette Classic, you can see the Corvette logo in the, in the back. So I'm trying to decide where to like it with the roof or not. For now, I'm gonna put, stick with the roof. Yeah, it's spoiler, and it's a little fin. You got great taste. A little fin on it, meant to say fin. But and yeah, that's pretty much it with all the customizations. And yeah. Well, I might want to remove the roof since I put this or uh, black. Yeah, I'm not gonna remove the roof. I like the top of this. So yeah, let's see what how it looks like whenever I take it out. All right, let's see how it looks like when I take it out. All right, and here we go. That looks fucking pretty amazing. Sounds good. The rain and ruins it all, but I like it without the roof. My have think twice about it. It's a bit thicker than the Corvette Classic, so yeah. But I don't know. If, I'm gonna not. I don't know too much if I'm gonna buy this, but it got many customization options. Um, let's see. I don't really gonna go too much in speed, but yeah, I believe that's pretty much it with this car. That does go pretty fast and. Yeah. So yeah, I kind of like this car. It's not really that bad, but not some really extra secret features um, inside. It looks pretty good. It got the little rolly windows, classic things. Um, where you roll down the windows. So yeah, that's all I have to offer. Nothing really special inside. So let's see what's the next. Oh my god. Let's see what's the next car we have to offer. Because the next car we got here. 
this is the fat bitch, you know. And yeah, I remember the price. It cost about two hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, not exactly. I'm gonna know too much. I'm not gonna look at that one more. Okay, well, this is pretty cheap car. Like it's not cheap if you look at it, but and if you look the price closely, but it was all the high. So it got the games DLC is meant for you to spend all the beautiful high money. That was the DLC meant for the part one and what two. That was the made the car so expensive. Uh, I don't know what the hell's wrong with that plane. Go plane, take a million dollars. But you know, I don't know. So yeah, let's look at the upgrades. I'm not gonna read that. Okay, it got um, little bumpers. You can, it got this. And the wheelie bar. Oh yeah, the classic wheelie bar. Um, not really like wheelie bars and muscle cars. I, I don't know if I'm gonna count this as a muscle car or a low rider. But you know, let's just add it because why the heck of it. Um, we already got a, a, you know, I don't know what to call those things, but a pledge, pledge, I don't know. But you get those car, go those things at the Peyote, the Lowrider Classic. So yeah, exhaust, we got, um, we can make the exhaust like much together or double, dual, I like it, dual. Fenders. You can add, you better add those little, um, curbs, curb, uh, what you call it, yeah. Um, I like it whenever it bought, covers that wheel, so yeah, I'm gonna add that. You can add those, but catcher, uh, triple intake, intake. That was your Um, okay, let's see what else to offer. Um, and yeah, you got the roof. You can remove the roof. If you want, or custom roof, you're gonna add. Yeah, it looks kind of like you know, like high carbon. So yeah, um, not really sure if I'm gonna remove the roof or not. I'm gonna stick with this one, the custom roof. So yeah, I'm not gonna change nothing else. Okay, let me just. Okay, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna change. I'm not gonna go too much into this. Personally, I'm not personally. I'm not really gonna get this car online. Another waste of money. If you're more like a low rider classic person, you know you might want to get this car. Here's what it look like inside. Got the same wheel. Looks like kind of like the same interior, like the other car, classic. So yeah, I don't know what to think about this car too much. But yeah, that's it. It's all the cars. And yeah, I'm. So that's it. Uh, the cars we got, to, uh, we got to offer. Um, shit, I don't know if I'm missing any, but yeah. Well, so that's it with this video. I'm gonna upload more videos about the new DLC, and yeah. And look out for a video. I might go on spend on the spending spree. Not as much as I did before in the last DLC, but I'm gonna be more careful about my money because I do not want to be broke again. So yeah, and yeah, that's it, and hope you all enjoy, and I'll see you all later. Peace. I see some bad drivers, but you. Oh, oh, oh. That's right.